Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video today and I'm only going to be making videos once a week now. I started working from Monday to Friday, 10 to 6. And today's video, um, how do I say this? Well, you read the title, so let's just roll the intro while I figure out how to start this. <laughs> So you guys finally did it. You guys did this and I'm not specifically talking about you guys, my viewers, the people who subscribe to this channel because most of you are probably a bit more smarter than this but I'm talking about for the rest of the entire population out there. Um, you guys actually did it. You made it possible for a woman to pretend to be a dog and earn at least hundred thousand of dollars. Hey yo what the f Now that all may be sounding a bit crazy right now but after you watch this video that I'm about to show you you'll understand what I'm saying. You want some water? <laughs> mm, okay. Here you go. <laughs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer. It says here, Jenna Phillips, a 21 year old woman, started a career as an optician. However, a drastic change in her career path turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to her. Huh? From Austin in Texas, in an interview, Jane said that she started filming herself mimicking dogs. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, dogs. Things like chasing ball, rolling about on the floor, and uploading these videos online, like we just saw. She added that she always felt like she was at least a puppy at heart. <laughs> and obviously, from these photos that I'm scrolling down to right now, you can see um she has I guess her her boyfriend throwing a tennis ball and she's catching it with her mouth. I guess he brought his girlfriend to a dog park and they were playing fit. Well, I'm out, man. I'm stripping. Now, you guys may be asking how I even came across this story, how I came across this video in the first place. So, well, I'm not going to lie. Hmm. I thought of this a while back, but I paid no attention. However, one of my subscribers contacted me through my Discord and sent me this, and I decided to have a look into it more. And to be honest, I wish I hadn't. Here we have another video from her that she actually uploaded to TikTok. Right, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Hey, hey, give me, give me the ball. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine <laughs> getting to this point in civilization to the point of a uh, a girl like this, pretending to be a dog, being able to make six figures a year by doing this and uploading it to TikTok. I'm just like, I can't even say it properly without being on the verge of laughing. Whew. It's just so bizarre and absurd. Like, I, I, ten years ago, I wouldn't have thought that this would have even been possible and to be able to make a living by doing this. Boy, if you don't Whatever she's doing in the video, um, it says here in the story that uh, it's unclear if this is a prank or a combination of both. <laughs> there's, there's could be something else at play that I'm unaware of. I'm no, I'm no expert in psychology, but I do know something's going on here. Something is totally wrong here for sure. Along with learning that Poppy Girl Jenna, that's her, I guess her Twitter and TikTok handle. With learning that she, she exists, I also learned that it's not okay to shame actual beat, <coughs> even if they are in public. Uh, I beg to differ. I mean, something should just be left, you know, unsaid in the bedroom. Like, I really want, don't want to know what kind of weird asking you have that you do between you and lovers, so keep that shit at home. You know, behind closed doors in your bedroom. I'm not trying to be out here and going shopping for groceries. You know, trying to get some broccoli and chicken and seeing some girl in dog chain doing something like this. This is secondhand embarrassment. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm gonna be honest. It is what it is. It is what it is. I really don't want to see this like this 
actually in real life cringe someone gave me this video by saying there's two arguments happening here don't do this because it's violent people's content and don't do this because it's cringe and gross and I keep seeing more of this dumb one anyway one of these things about going in public is that you kind of consent to perceiving other people's being in public that's actually what public means there's a real backlash against any kind of expression of be late and it's frustrating there's an ironic what kind of what a kiss he is in the replies and my answer is I don't know do you think it's weird I guess do you think they will explode okay is this woman trying to defend this woman in public doing this some of y'all about to be real mad at me but it must be said regardless of it it's be a king or not like I think there's just a way that you should be acting in public and what this girl in the video is doing right now is not it like imagine if everybody started bringing their like, actual king out in public just randomly and started doing what this girl is doing I probably wouldn't go out in public anymore I'd probably just stay at ho stay in my lazy ass at home 24-7 I mean that's pretty much what I do anyway but I rest my case she added I feel like a dog I just want to roll around play fetch get head scratches run around play all of that I really love praise I love hearing good girl makes my heart melt every time oh my god this sounds like she has really daddy issues times a thousand well let's be nice yeah. let's be nice we don't have to go there <laughs> i mean you're not wrong she continued it's now my full-time job my revenue has increased a hundred times since i moved to poppy play content i make six figures a month what wait what okay she's not making six figures that's okay, cause fish live in lavish. I'm baffled. I'm lost for words here. Moreover, the online following gives her an opportunity to earn a reported six-figure salary each month. Clearly, being open-minded about once king can pay a ton at times. So this girl on the hub or something, that like where she's getting, who signed to some kind of group that's paying her with this video? Because TikTok, where she's uploading this content and pay the creator. YouTube is sure hell not paying for her for this kind of content. So where is he making money like this from? Listen, I'ma be honest, I know for a fact she's definitely not getting money from like women. It's it's most likely ninety nine point nine percent guys out there who's consuming this content and this is why every time I see stories like this with girls and it's nothing against women but because it's a select few most women will never do stuff like this. They don't act like this and they probably embarrassed by this. It's however it's guys who are consuming this content. Simps. I always, I always got to come back to you guys. What are you doing? What are you giving women like this? There's not even, even women who are who like this. They kind of, you know, capitalize off this dumb shit. <laughs> it's why. Why is this even a thing? This is so weird. I, I don't know if she's actually like doing this stuff, but if she does, good for her. But why do you guys like watching this kind of stuff? Do you guys roll off one this kind of content? Is, is that? I don't know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> she's added that the majority of her income comes from people who request a custom video. Some have even paid her close to 1.2 grand for a video. Oh, I'll do custom video, she says, and the most I've charged for one was 1.2 grand. If somebody tells me what they want, I'll give them a quote for more kinky. You want for more, it will cost, she explained. Oh my god. This is like the Belle Delphine, but five times worse. I'm sorry, like, at least Belle Delphine is charging like, what, 35 quid, you know, at most 50 quid for extra content. That she probably has on her OnlyFans, but this girl, oh my god. Holy. She's probably even make more than Belrothine. However, she says she had made it very clear that there are certain lines she won't cross. 
Oh, so it allows you want cross. I'm pretty sure she crossed all of them by now. Some of the requests are a bit too much. People have asked me to film with a real dog and I can't say quick, you know, quickly enough. Oh my god. I know where it's going. There's no animals involved in my filming and there never be. Okay, at least it's not into bestiality. That's good to know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. So like, subscribe, share with your friends and family and all that stuff. Until next time, bye.